Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jeremy Stevens. I'm here with my boy again, Nadi Aguilar. And uh, we're gonna go over a little slip and rip technique. It's a technique that I like to use in fights. I think it works out great. It's, it's very simple and very easy to use. And um, my boy here is gonna help me out with this and we're gonna go, we're gonna go over the variation of what I like to do in a fight. It's, uh, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be slipping the jab. I'm gonna be covering an uppercut and a hook and a, and a, and a straight. Which, is, which I love, basically I love, I love the uppercut off of, a, off of a, a straight jab because it's more devastating and when, when you throw it. It snaps off a lot quicker as compared to if, if, if I was to, he was to throw here and I throw a right and he just backs away, a lot of times I miss with that. A lot of people don't see is a quick, quick uh, rotational uppercut. It's, it's, very, it's very fast, it's very deceiving and this works very good with head movement and, and if, especially if you're a pressure fighter or if you're, just, if you're, if you're like a laid back pre precise striker and you just slip, it's, it's, it's a very quick and very effective way. So I'm gonna go over this technique right now. So I'm in my stance, and I'm say I'm pressuring the guy. He throws a jab, I'm gonna rotate. And when, as I rotate, I rotate my core, and I rotate my thoracic, which is my back. Go ahead and show him, Nadi, what right my right thoracic right. is. That's, that's, right that's right the mid back. So I'm gonna use core rotation. I don't wanna be leaning too much, and I don't wanna be under here in my swing as for, if, if he was to take me down, I'm all, I'm all off balance here. And there's, there's, there's many things I can do, let alone like it's, it's simpler to just use your core and your thoracic to slip this punch and come up with an uppercut hook straight. And, and I want to make sure that I'm not smothering my punches when I, when I do this as well, because if I'm in here, I'm smothering my punches, he can close the distance, do, do all types of stuff and, and able to engage in a battle that we do not want to, want to be in. So one of the techniques I use is the slip, slip off the jab. I'll, I'll pressure a guy, as soon as he throws the jab, I'll rotate, Come up with my uppercut, hook, straight. And in, and in, real, in real life, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go actual real, real speed of, of what, what this really looks like. Again, I'm not dipping down too much or selling it. I'm using good head movement and good, uh, good rotation, core rotation and thoracic rotation when, when we get in here. Notice everything that I do is at the end of my punches. And the reason why that is, is because you connect more when you have good full rotation and range. And I, you're able to connect a lot more. A good example would be, I say, an Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva doesn't look like the guy hits very hard, like a Mike Tyson who is really an inside fighter and vicious. Anderson Silva is very rangy, and I guarantee his technique is very devastating. So again, off the jab, rotation. Uppercut, hook, straight. That's a basically a, a very good slip and rip technique that you can use sparring, you know, in a, in a fight, if you had to defend yourself, whatever, professional. And uh, slip and rip, baby. That's how we do it.